Hey guys! So today I'm with my dad and we're filming a Project for Awesome video. If you don't know what Project for Awesome is, it's a two day event where YouTubers come together to raise awareness and money for different small profits across the globe. Here's my dad. Hi, I'm Ali Sharif. I am a trustee of EACPA, a charity that trains careers, teachers and careers advisors in East Africa. The, uh, the key outcome that we are looking for is enabling young people make realistic and well-informed choices. Now in order to do that they need to be advised by somebody who is experienced, who has the knowledge and skills and most importantly is impartial. Somebody who is not driven by what their institution expects them to deliver or has a personal gain in the process. That is extremely important. In order to do that we need to train career teachers in schools. These career teachers are the first port of call for the students. And having done that, they then have access to an impartial advisor who covers a few schools and talks to them about the range of options available to them after they finish their school, college or university. Now, you may be wondering why this is important. In developed countries, there have been records and statistics about the losses that these um, economies suffer from what we call labour market failures or the uninformed decisions that people make at various stages in their lives and the losses that the institutions make because of this. Now just imagine, if this cannot be afforded by rich economies, what about the poorer regions in East Africa? It is simply unaffordable. Haven't we heard from so many of our friends and relatives as to how they made their career choices? Their decisions were led by the media, what their friends and neighbours talked about, what their friends and the peer group suggested. Now you would wonder, is this the best way to make a choice? Is this the best way to make a career decision which may stay with you for a few years? Probably not. And that is where the benefits of trained careers advisors is seen by ourselves. Now imagine in a part of the world which is much more poorer, which has far less resources, is that the most prudent way of spending their resources? You may agree with me that it isn't. And therefore, this is what the charity does in terms of providing training so that these young people make those choices and progress in their lives and achieve their potential. Now, you may, you may be wondering, how often do people need to make these changes? It has been found that by the time a graduate retires in the UK, he or she will have made five to eight career changes. Now remember, there may be several jobs under each of these careers and as they are making these decisions and their choices, they need once again to have guidance from somebody who is well informed, who understands their situation and is impartial once again. Keeping this in mind, we are now talking about careers advisors who are trained enough to provide lifelong guidance. What IACPA is, is also uh, hoping to achieve is um, to raise aspirations of young people and all the like um, and having got on the track to achieving that they need to be supported uh, so that they retain their positions uh, and not give it up for the smallest of hurdles uh, and having achieved that and having moved on they're now looking at supporting their transition where they need support with applying for jobs or for college places, completing of documents, going for interviews and the like. And therefore, whoever it is, young or old alike, feel fully supported in making this transition. Right, if you think what I have presented is something that you are appealed by, um, iacpa.org has got information about our activities. And the Project for Awesome has a link as well and information in the description. Thank you.